Uh, I think um, we had a really nice uh, nice crowd in the Dugan again. Um, gotta love having all the support from the community and from the uh, the student body and you know um, I think our our marketing team and um, you know everybody around our program did a great job bringing in a, an awesome crowd and um, so that was that helps having a great home environment obviously and then I think our team handled some of the ups and downs that can happen you know and conference play you know everybody you know is bringing their best and I think um, you know commerce came and played really well tonight and so um, they definitely challenged us and I thought we responded and um, you know had had opportunities to really just kind of uh, get five, six points in a row here and there, and um, we took advantage of each one of those. So I'm really proud of how we finished. Yeah, you talked about kind of the ups, ups and downs. Just kind of talk through the specifics of how the team was able to kind of get out of some of those funks and maybe able to, I mean, second set got away a little bit, but to come out in the other three. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we, we typically pride ourselves on having, you know, a well-distributed offense. Um, I think, you know, Kendall Payne was kind of struggling offensively tonight, um, which can be a challenge, you know, for our team. We, we rely on her to do a lot of things. And so, um, you know, Caitlin, I thought, played um, amazing in the middle. She's had a, a nice run in the last few matches. Um, you know, Leah played amazing in the middle as well. And we were passing and defending well enough that, you know, our setter Alex was able to get them the ball. Um, that helps us ton. And you know, Tori stepped up her game on the outside, so did Riley. So we had, you know, five attackers really doing some good things, um, you know, throughout. And, you know, when uh, we needed them to step up, they did. Yeah, um, your two middles led, led the team in fields tonight. Just how important is that, especially in this league, that you're, you're I mean, out of the middle position, you can really produce out of there? Yeah, I mean, Leah's proven, you know, the last few years really to be one of the best medals the conference has seen, and I think for sure the last three, um, she's just outstanding. And, um, you know, um, Caitlin has stepped up these last few matches and really changed um, the dynamic of our team because she plays kind of similar to Leah in some ways, but also brings something different, um, you know, and I think her ability to, to hit well in front of the center and then, you know, on occasion come behind and hit slides has really changed up um, how people have to defend us. And um, I think her confidence is growing match to match, which is helpful. And so, uh, but to see, you know, that our, our middles are the ones, you know, producing the most kills for our team in a match that just shows that, you know, we're passing well, playing some good defense. And so, um, and testament to our setter to, to get them the ball. So all positives for sure. And happy to see Caitlin doing so well. Yeah, Caitlin, you kind of had to jump in there last Thursday mm -hmm. and since then you've really kind of settled in and um, your numbers are kind of proving that. Just talk about how these last few matches have just kind of gone for you and you kind of getting settled in as a freshman. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is, especially last Thursday, seeing one of your teammates go down, that's never something you want to see. But um, the biggest thing was knowing that I had to step into that role and play the best that I could for my team, not even for myself. Like, I just had to be there, uh, you know, and fill the shoes that Cranky had left. And unfortunately, she got injured. But, um, you know, match to match, it's something that you I've experienced before. Like, you just have to grow and build your confidence that way. Like, it's going to take experience. Like, you, you're, it's never something that's just going to come naturally. So. Uh, I think that's been huge, especially having the past few home games and just having the crowd to play in front of, you know, all that helps with energy and confidence too as well. Yeah, talk about just your connection with Alex and um, Leah, I mean, as another middle, if mm -hmm. I can see both of them are upperclassmen, and just how have they kind of helped you? Uh, you know, Leah is obviously something that everyone on the team <laughs> looks up to. She's a, she's a huge player and uh, just having that role model and seeing her confidence too helps build my own and uh, she's always there encouraging me, telling me what shots I have. If I'm struggling, she's right there with me, like kind of coaching me along with you too, which is huge for an upperclassman. And then with Alex, I think it's another confidence thing to have a setter who is confident in herself and has confidence in you to score. Um, that's just huge in helping the team and helping me as an individual as well. Uh, undefeated at home so far this season. Um, obviously, it's got to be a good feeling going into another home game this Saturday. Um, and you've won the last three conference games after maybe a little rocky start. Just how have you seen that kind of help build the confidence as we continue getting into both the conference play? It's, I mean, to be, you know, perfectly blunt as always, um, we're, it's a, it's a part that we're, we're excited to be home. We love playing at home for sure. Um, we have, I would put our crowd up against anybody um, in the conference and 
most of the teams in the country, I think we do a great job. Um, and so I, I think that helps us. I would say that, you know, our confidence is, is not where it probably should be based on the talent and the experience that we have. Um, I think our team, you know, we have, we returned every starter except from our setter from last year. Um, we have nine people that it's their last season, you know, whether seniors or grad students, and they've all produced in college, you know, amazing numbers and just been been stalwarts in our program and other programs before they came here. And so um, I honestly don't think our confidence is as high as, as it it's deserved and should be. Um, and that's we're trying to figure that out. Um, but we're having we're starting to have a little bit more fun on the court, which is cool to see um, and starting to kind of do what we do well. So we'll, we'll see how it all plays out. Um, I, I think I'm okay with being in that space right now, um, but as the season goes on, I think we need to we need to make sure that we're the ones that you know are in control of what we can on our side. And if somebody on the other side of the net is doing some good things, that's okay. We can give them a give them a little smile and, and do what we do well. So, um, but I'm proud of the direction that we're going. We've won the last few matches playing well. Um, had a really tough one Tuesday down at UTRGV, and then um, this one. It started to get real tough, you know. Those first two sets were, were really back and forth, and so um, proud of how we handled sets three and four. Mixed um, up a couple things defensively, just between the second and third sets. Talk about just that decision and maybe what that's going to look like for Saturday's match. Yeah, I don't know about Saturday yet, because you know we'll, we'll see. Um, things always change; you never know. But um, you know, uh, Kayla White's been our libero for the last, you know, most of the season. Um, and then um, about a week ago, you know, things started to change a little bit. Kendall Mahaney's been playing great, and so um, we made the change there. They both were playing really well for the last three matches, and so happy to see how they both handled that transition and change. And then um, tonight, we needed to make another change and went back that same direction um put kayla back at libero midway through um kayla handled that role well i think kendall mahaney stand handled moving over to right back which she played a lot last year for us and so um you know being able to have that level of experience and, and trust in in what they're capable of was was nice to see um and then i thought brooklyn yeager came in and played some great defense tonight too uh she had a kind of a, a minor collision uh more than minor collision on tuesday and uh sometimes that can kind of have some psychological effects for sure and i think she she was able to come in and play some really good defense tonight so that was a nice to see in competition see her do that yeah i'm playing northwestern state on saturday and then you guys are going to hit the road and play these same two teams um just right back so what are you looking for to saturday just before you have to go free play them i think saturday is going to be a good chance for us to uh you know, take a look at what things we can improve on from this match, especially mentally. Uh, that's something that's a, been a big focus over the past few matches is changing our mindset and changing how we play the game, not necessarily physically, but um, because the mental aspect is such a huge thing. So I think Saturday, uh, I know I'm looking forward to, and I know some of my teammates are looking forward, looking forward to getting to not necessarily experiment, but continue to push from where we are right now with getting better mentally, thinking about things more, thinking about things as a team, and yeah, just improving that way. Yeah, it's going to be the end of a three week, three match week for you guys. <laughs> yeah. um, kind of same question for you, Coach. Just finishing out kind of a busy week and then going and having to play these these two teams again right away. Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, honestly, you know, three matches in one week, one on the road, two at home, it's tough for anybody. And, um, and we've had, you know, some kind of minor injuries as well. So our, our roster is a little bit limited right now. And um, testament to our team for, for being willing to, to handle the challenges that come with that mentally. Um, and I think our experience definitely kicks in um, when we need it. So Saturday's going to be tough. Um, you know, I think Commerce played well tonight, definitely made it tough at Northwestern State's um they're really well coached too and so that's that's two back to back that are are not gonna be fun um and so um fun while we're in it you know for sure um it's a challenge and so that's why we do it but glad to be at home to start and then hopefully play well and then kind of carry that into next week's matches where we play those same two teams